Well, I'm excited because this just showed up. This is the GoPro Hero 12 Black. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick unboxing. We'll do an overview and give you some sample footage of what you can expect from this camera. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, of course, if you are interested in picking up one of these for yourself or my favorite accessories, it'll all be linked down below with more information on the camera as well. But let's go ahead and pull this open. So here it is, the GoPro Hero 12 Black. I'm actually really excited to see what the new speckled look looks like on the GoPro Hero 12 Black versus the GoPro Hero 11 Black, which has a matte black finish on it. This one has a speckled look. On the side here, it shows you what accessories you get and we'll have a closer look at those in a moment. On the back, it says, while your GoPro is charging, your shots upload to the cloud and then it sends you a highlight video back. And this is with a GoPro subscription. So I'm really excited to use that feature. And then on the side, all of the specs. So let's quickly go through those. 27 megapixel photos, 5.3K 60 frames per second, 4K 120, or 2.7K 240 video, so lots of different modes there. And again, it's waterproof to 33 feet and 10 meters. Voice control, it's got eight times slow-mo, hyper-view, time warp 3.0, 1080p live streaming, so if you're looking for that, it can do that. Super photo and raw photos, HDR photo and video, 10-bit color, and it's media mod ready. So if you have a media mod, that's awesome. And then this one has hyper smooth video stabilization 6.0. It was already great with 5.0. Now it's got 6.0, so we'll test that out as well. A tab here on the bottom. All right, let's open this up. And the first thing you're gonna notice is your camera must be updated before you can use it. This is normal with GoPros. You can do that with the GoPro Quick app and your phone. Subscribe to GoPro for the best experience. A little document showing how to install the battery and the memory card. A lot of people struggle with this, um, so there's instructions on that. And then on the back here, there's some GoPro stickers, and one of them is crooked. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, but it is. Pro tips for the best cold weather performance, and then have product questions, an important product and safety instructions and fairly thick book there. So that's all the documentation. And then in the box here, we've got our GoPro and the accessories. So we'll look at the accessories first, then we'll have a quick look at the GoPro. So you do get a USB-A to USB-C cable here for charging this, uh, maybe a foot long, USB-A on the one end and USB-C on the other end. We've got our thumb screw in there. We've got our Enduro battery in here. So this is the longer lasting cold performance battery. It's got the white ends on it. You've also got the adhesive mount. This one's slightly curved and you peel that off and stick it onto things and your buckle mount, which buckles into there to mount your GoPro to that. So. That's in there as well. And then we've got our GoPro Hero 12 Black. And on the back again, it says your GoPro must be updated before you can use it. So that's what the back looks like there with the speckling around the rim. You've got the side here with the door. If you open that up, that's where your battery and memory card, and there's also a USB-C connection there for charging. The front, that's what it looks like. You've got the screen, the lens, and again, that speckled look. I really like that. Kind of gives a space vibe compared to last year's model. On the top as well, they put the speckling on the shutter button, whereas it was a red circle before. On this side, it says 12 black, and you've got the power button here. Then on the bottom, they added a new feature. They added a quarter inch thread in the mount here. So you can put this on a standard tripod with that right there, really handy. I love that they added that feature. That's one of my favorites actually. Um, the fingers fold out just like that. So you can use all your old mounts as well. Um, so let's go ahead and put the battery in here and we'll start it up.
and it's all ready to be set up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and update it with the GoPro Quick App on my phone, and then we'll have a quick look at the menu system, what that looks like, and get into the test footage. All right, so I've got my GoPro Hero 12 Black all set up here. It's currently in easy mode. That's the way it comes when you initially set it up. You can also go into pro mode. Um, I'm noticing it runs really smooth for swiping back and forth. So hyperlapse, you've got video, you've got photo. Um, really easy to move back and forth between the modes. If you swipe up from the bottom, this is where your media would be if you've taken photos or videos. Now a cool new feature I noticed here, if we tap here in the bottom right hand corner, you can go into the framing mode and they've added vertical video without having to turn your GoPro. So you can film vertical video, you don't have to turn your GoPro, really handy feature in there, I really like that. Now if we swipe down from the top, you've got your kind of quick settings. To the left, you can see how much space is left on your memory card. Um, set up your auto upload. Over to the right, you can pair devices, a new feature. You can pair headphones. Maybe you want to use the microphone and your Bluetooth headphones. You can do that right here. You've got the easy control as well as the pro mode here. And you've also got your preferences, so all your main settings. Now that I've got this set up, we're gonna go ahead and film for a couple of days and I'll come back to you with some of the real world GoPro footage. So I made it out to the park here and this is currently filming in 4K 60 frames per second in linear mode. And the audio you're hearing is directly out of the camera. There's kind of a creek behind me, the wind is blowing. How does this sound directly from the camera? And there isn't any color grading in this as well. This is directly footage from the camera. Let me know in the comments section below how this sounds and looks. And here's some more 4K 60 footage. I'll do a quick pan here for you guys. And now I've switched over to 5.3K 60 frames per second. And this is 4K 60 in wide mode with HDR turned on. Are you noticing a difference at all in, with HDR turned on? And there's also a log mode if you'd like to do your color grading after the fact, which is really handy as well. Another great feature is you can film in eight by seven. So if you're not sure if you'd like wide format video, you can crop it in that direction in editing, or you can crop it vertically as well. Really handy feature if you're not sure if you want horizontal or vertical video. And of course the GoPro is still waterproof to 33 feet or 10 meters. So a great addition to this GoPro is it has nine by 16 built right in. I don't need to turn the camera sideways to film in this mode. It's right there. If you do a lot of posting to social media, this is a great addition. GoPro has always excelled with their HyperSmooth, and this is HyperSmooth 6.0. Whether you're running, you're biking, motorbiking, or surfing, the footage should look silky smooth. Let's turn this around and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go for a run here. And the footage should look buttery smooth. And the camera is shaking around like crazy right now. How was that? And another feature I use all the time is the time warp feature. This is one of my favorite features in GoPro. Let's show you what this looks like. So this GoPro also has the Hyperview lens. It's currently on linear, which is what this looks like. And when I switch it to Hyperview, I'll do that in a second, it's super wide. We'll switch it right now. And with the camera here in the same spot, you can see it's a really wide angle shot here with the Hyperview lens. Some low light here. It's dusk right now out by the water here at the lake. There's a forest fire back there. lights on the houseboat.
All right, so I am back. I've used the GoPro Hero 12 Black for a couple of days now. I've been really impressed with it. The footage has looked great. It's been really reliable for me. Been really happy with it so far. Now I've purchased the last three GoPros, so the 10, the 11, and now the 12. And I've used these quite a bit for our travels, for our vlogs, and just everyday life. And I've been really happy with them. But there's a couple of features here in the GoPro Hero 12 Black that I didn't think much of that I've really come to enjoy. And the first one is the quarter inch thread mount on the bottom. It allowed me to use different accessories like the Joby Gorilla Pods or my regular tripods. And that is a game changer. I've been really happy with that. Awesome little feature in there that I didn't think much of. The other thing that I really enjoyed, if you post to social media a lot, the vertical video mode, so the nine by 16 mode that's built right in that you don't need to turn your camera like this to film with was a great addition. It works great for filming around town. You just push, the button in there and you can film vertically without having to turn your camera. So really happy with that mode here in the GoPro 12. So the footage in the GoPro looks great, especially in the daylight. Um, it pretty much speaks for itself. You saw all the unedited footage there. A couple things I do want to point out, time warp. I know it's been around for a couple generations. I really love that feature. I use it when we travel for doing little tours. It gives you that really cool fast forward motion video that you can post to social media. It's an awesome little feature. Now, Hyper Smooth 6.0 in here is phenomenal. I thought 5.0 was great, 6.0 looks awesome. When I did the running video, the camera was jumping around like this and it was buttery smooth through the forest there. Awesome feature, Hyper Smooth 6.0. I don't need a gimbal anymore. I've got one sitting there in the drawer that I never use. Now, as for the regular footage, it looks awesome, especially in the daylight. Um, you can do up to 5.3K with this GoPro, so it looks really good. Again, it does struggle in the low light. You can see a lot of pixelization. And if you're walking, the HyperSmooth does struggle in the darker environment. So keep that in mind. If you are filming at night, I would recommend trying to keep your camera really still. So awesome feature. There's so much more in this camera that I didn't even go over, but I've been really impressed with it. And I think it would be a great addition to your camera bag. So hope this quick unboxing, overview, and sample footage video of the GoPro Hero 12 Black did give you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.